Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. So, I thought I would do a mediumship read tonight. Um, I just did my week ahead spread and something kept telling me to... I, I, all day long I've been getting this, like, go ahead and do a mediumship type reading today. So we're just going to do a free for all. I don't have a spread or anything like that. Just anybody that wants to come through and for a message for anybody, I'm just letting them come through. Um, today I'm going to use my Mystic Fairy Tarot by Linda Ravenscroft, text by Barbara Moore, published by Llewellyn, and I made a pouch for it, a different pouch for it, because it matches the colors better. Um, made it today. It is my Mildred Payne Secret Pocket Oracle, the bigger, the bigger version. Um, yeah, so here we are, here we go. Um, I'm going to take a couple breaths and ask my guides to step in and help us out here. And then if you guys decide that you like these kinds of videos, let me know in the comments below um, if you, I should continue these. All right, so I want to take a double, couple of quick breaths here, clear the air, clear the room, and then we'll get started. Okay. Oh, there's one already flipped over. Let's see. Two already flipped over. Alright. Oh, why is it flipped around? That's weird. So we're just going to ask is there anybody here with us today? Is there a male or a female here with us today? Wow. I'm just, cards are trying to fly everywhere. I haven't flipped any cards, but I'm already feeling like there's a young, maybe 20-something male here. Um, and these cards are so slidey. Sorry. Knight of Pentacles, typically a male energy, and that is a 20-something to me in that age group, 20-something. He's not, he's a, he's considered an adult in the eyes of man, but not maybe to some people. Um, I'm getting a, a punk rock or goth vibe, like that's the kind of music he liked. Um... I don't know anybody like that, so I'm wondering if any of you guys know anybody like that. <sighs> Stick that there. And then we'll see about any other questions here. I don't even know what questions to ask. Um, how did you die? I got the lover's card. I'm getting the lover's card, but I'm getting a love of something that was not good for him. Um, uh, maybe drugs involved. Um, maybe an overdose of some sort. Uh, I'm definitely getting a, like a dark-headed male, mid early twenties. Um, 
Uh, I don't think he was, I think he was bright, but not like an A-list student. Um, I think he dropped out pretty early, maybe 16, around 15, 16, he dropped out. I'm not seeing a very um, loving home um, in that. Uh, I dropped this card too. Strength. Yeah, and I'm getting, uh, I wasn't strong enough to resist. So I'm, I'm getting a, uh, he had a love affair with something. I, I'm going to assume it's drugs, some kind of drug that he wound up accidentally maybe overdosing on. Um, he just wasn't strong enough because of the way he was raised and, you know, the path he was on. It just, it wasn't the greatest. Um... Do you have any advice for anybody out there? Somebody out there. Do you have any advice for somebody out there? Seven of Wands. I'm getting a teamwork thing here. Like it was, it was a team effort um, for him to. Uh, he didn't do the drugs alone, is what I'm getting. He didn't do the drugs alone. He did it with someone else. Um, it was a team effort. Um, and this person is still on the same path. He's He went down. They're still headed down the same direction. He went down. Is what I'm getting from the Seven of Wands. It was a team effort. Uh, so let's see what the uh, Mildred Payton Secret Pocket Oracle says here. Uh, oh. The cards are flying out. Any other information you can give me? Any other information you can give me? The tree. Any other information? And skull. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Hold on just a moment. Okay. I'm back. I had to pause it for a second to let my dog out. Um, but this is kind of a, it, it kind of takes on a um, creepier vibe with this. Like there's foul play now, which I don't like that. <laughs> so I'm going to look at the, because uh, I actually printed off the Sacred Pocket Oracle here off deviantname.com. So we got tree, which is number 31. <sighs> Strong growth. Seasons of life. Stability. Reaching new heights. So maybe that's the... Because um, I got buried under a tree. Um, that, that wasn't right. Doesn't seem right. Um, that went along with the rest of the reading. It doesn't seem that that was right. Um, I feel like this is the message he's sending to whoever this was, um, this other person was, no, here, this person was, that they, they did drugs together, they did things together, uh, and he's saying you have so much potential, you have so much potential out there, um, so much more than you know. Um, don't follow my footsteps. The outcome would be death. Thoughts of feelings and mortality. Change. End of a cycle. So, um, I see this is uh, the young and this is what happens if they, this other person is, has gotten help. Um, they become stronger. They, they have untapped potential of doing whatever they want, being whoever they want. If they continue to follow in his footsteps, this is how it's going to end with their death. Um, so that's very strong, very powerful. Um, and that makes me sad. Because there's people out there that can see the damage it's done um, for somebody to even accidentally, because I still feel like it was an accidental suicide. Um accidentally take their life and, and see the the 
repercussions. Even though he didn't have a great family life, somebody missed him. Somebody cared for him. Somebody was upset when he was gone. And for them to see that and still continue doing the same things is just mind-boggling to me. Um, and then the other, the last card I pulled was the moth. And again, that's to me about transformation change. There, it's time for a change. He's telling you it's time to change now. Not tomorrow, not the next day, not next week, today. Because who knows what tomorrow may bring. It may bring you death. Um, that's what I got, guys. Uh, that turned out really sad. Um, and it's funny because I, uh, every time I think there's no spirits in my house or around, um, all of a sudden I start having things happen to me and then I, it's like someone's telling me to do a reading and then I'll do a reading and of course it's because it belongs, he, he belongs to somebody. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, if it's somebody that's watching now or in the future, just comment below and let me know. Um. He's saying uh, it's time to straighten up. It's time to get on the straight and narrow and change. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And um, don't forget to hit the notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. If you guys decide you want to see me do more mediumship type readings, let me know in the comments below. I'm trying to shake up my channel and do some stuff different. And geared more toward why I started the channel to begin with, which is this kind of video. So let me know, and you guys have a good night. Bye.